fountain and you were there I climbed to the top of a mountain and you If I didn't know. Let me go, will you? Let me go. What for? What for? That phony Russian's up there trying to make love to my girl. Who is it? It is I, me. Peppy. Katsusha, why have you waited for so long? Waited? What you should you have mean? known it is futile to struggle against fate. Struggle against what? Ah, my little dove, let me embrace you. Oh, Peppy. I've hungered for Peppy. you so. Do not pretend, now, Peppy, Katusha. Now stop. Tonight now, is Peppy. ours, and it shall live forever because you're a woman and I'm a man. I'm a man and a woman. <laughs> Look, Peppy, I'm warning you. Get out of here. Ah, oh, my little potato. Katsushinka, I love you. Oh, thank you very much. It's kind of dark in here. Ooh, my little turn, my two little guitars. I love such passion together will make beautiful music. What's the matter? Peppy's in my room. I think he's gone love crazy or something. Oh, let me at him. You stay here, where you'll be safe. Katusha! Magic! Oh. Don't ask me how I do it, folks. <laughs> oh, hello. Can I help? Certainly you can, certainly you can. Make them fall in love with you. Make everybody happy. You and you and you. <laughs> and you. Hello, Mom. I'll be home for supper. Have meat. <laughs> Say, better put that violin on a diet. What about this love thing, you, you kids? What about it? Uh, well, the, uh, the porter's delivering the instruments. I better find chicken only. I'll see it at rehearsal. <sighs> Would you know anything about love? Who, me? Oh, not me. I'm a married man. <laughs>
pops, keep that beat a beat. I feel a rhythmic brainstorm coming on. One, two, keep that rhythm heat. One more rhythm like that, and I'll be gone. Oh, man, don't stop now, we're jumping. Give everything to Lord now. This thing might turn into something. I ain't mistaken, here comes something now. from now on. I hope you're right. Say, boys, get out of the station, pick up those wardrobe trunks, will you? Okay. Hey, Woody. Why the suitcases? I'm going somewhere to try to reconstruct my life. Hey, wait a minute. Come on, tell Jeff all about it. What's on your mind? It's Kitty and me. I'm not the man for her, Jeff. She needs someone like you. Someone taller than she is. Mentally. I found out there's someone else. I've just told her we're through. It's my fault, Woody. I'm sorry. I tried not to fall in love with Kitty, but, well, I did. You love Kitty? Well, that's wonderful. She needs you. You can save her from herself. Save her from herself? Well, you know, a young girl, ideas about romance. I better tell you about Peppy. You mean about Peppy and Kitty? <laughs> she told me all about it. You don't mind? Of course not. Maybe I'm a bit old-fashioned. Kitty. Kitty, uh, would you mind stepping into my private office? I get it. Get to! Ah! Watch me. I was the Daniel Boone of Brasgovnia. Oh. Oh. There goes that tire again. I heard a bang, but I didn't hear any... Pull. What are you doing behind that bush? Trying to reconstruct my life. What needs reconstructing? Oh, everything. Thanks to you, I found out about Kitty in time. You, you did? did? I mean, uh, you did? Yeah. Uh, don't worry about that, Woody. 
Now what do you think's happened? Jeff's gone and fallen for her. No, that's terrible. I tried to tell him about Peppy, but he wouldn't listen. He uh, just... no use trying to tell Jeff about anything. No, it's his own life. Let him ruin it himself. Ready. <laughs> Wrong gun. When you first told me about Kitty, I figured it was kind of exaggerated that I might be able to stop it. But after what I saw last night... Thanks again, fellas. Last hey, night. hold on! What happened last night? You didn't leave a room till almost 4 o'clock this morning. Who? Peppy, of course. Chick, did I hear right? That gag we pulled, it... It, 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 it ain't a gag, it's the truth. That nice, sweet, innocent girl. That nice, sweet, innocent girl is just a... There's still a haze off. His sweaters are no sweaters. She's worse than that. What a fine mess we put our pal Jeff in. We gotta break that up right now. Let's see, music, scenery, wardrobe. Oh, yes, I've got to pick up Max Kane at the station. Oh, no, you're not. You're coming with me and tell Mother and Dad about oh, us. Oh, let's wait, Kitty, please. Careful, I've already been jilted once today. I warn you, if I don't get this show on Broadway, you'll be jilted again. Hey, Jeff, we gotta talk to you. In private, if you don't mind. Well, I, uh... Oh, well, that's all right. I'll send the station wagon for Mr. Kane. Listen, Jeff, let me Wait. tell him. Listen, Kit, this girl, Kitty. What about her? Okay, you tell him. Jeff, we've got information that proves rather conclusively that uh, Kitty... that Kitty is a... Uh, uh, okay, Louie. I'll put it a different way. You know who was in her room at 4 o'clock this morning? Oh, that, forget it. Forget, forget it. it! Listen, boys, I've got great news for you. Max Kane, the producer, is coming to see the show tonight, and if he likes it, it goes on Broadway. And Miss Kitty Rand becomes Mrs. Jeffrey Hunter, so keep your fingers crossed. Well, we did our best. Good morning. Good morning. Jeff said that he won't go for the girl unless it shows a hit. Is that right? Of course it's right. It would be terrible if he married the wrong girl. That might nip his whole career right at the bud. So? So? So we got to make sure that the show is a flop. Oh, sabotage, huh? That's the idea, because if Kane doesn't like the show, nobody else will, and Jeff won't go for Kitty. He'll be awfully upset. He'll get over it and write plenty more hit plays. The main thing is to save him from the clutches of that woman. Good idea. Even from you. Yeah, but we're going to need some help. Let's call some of the boys. I'll go right to the phone. For the kid's sake, this show is going to be a bust. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> 